the waddle. So for the waddle, you use the outside edge of your skate. You have to be careful with this one because you can't be rolling forward and just do that because it's not gonna end well. So you need to start off with your feet at less of an angle and increase the angle as you get slower. So what I'm gonna do is turn my foot out and put my weight on the outside. And then I'm gonna do the same with the other foot. And I slowly come to a stop. Now if I wanna stop quicker, I've just gotta make the steps quicker. So I want to stop quick. Sliding stop. So the sliding stop has many names and many forms. So if this is similar to the same technique that you'd use for what I would call a hockey stop or a power slide, it's all the same principle. So let's go over it. So this one works in the same principle as the waddle. So you're gonna put your skate against the direction of travel, but as we've learned, you can't just do that. So what we're gonna do is put it at about a 45 degree angle with a little bit of weight on it. So most of your weight is gonna be on the leg that's traveling. So my leg is traveling in this direction and I'm gonna put this one down very gently at a slight angle. And as I start to slow down, I'm gonna apply more pressure to this leg and I will come to a stop. Let me show you. Okay, so all my weight's on here. I'm gonna put my leg in very gently. Now my weight is pretty much spread between the two equally. key to this is to really sit over the leg that's still traveling. So you're really down here in the hips, your hips are down and your weight's right over here so you can really sit down into the stop. So let me just show you one more time. So I'm gonna sit down into it. So you can use this in lots of scenarios. So say I'm coming around a corner and I'm going a bit fast, I can drag my leg here to slow me down. Or I can use it backwards. Same principle, weight on this side. Spin stop. If you've learned or you've practiced an open book turn, you've probably experienced this stop. Because when you first learn to do that transition or that turn, you often use all your momentum in the turn and you stop. So that's what we're gonna do on purpose. You need to select which foot's gonna have the most weight on it, and then the other foot is gonna come round with the shoulder to make the stop happen. So I'm skating, and I'm gonna turn my upper body into the turn. So as your upper body turns, you want more weight on here. Now I'm gonna put an inside edge on here to initiate the turn, but once the turn starts, I'm gonna press on the outside of this foot to make me come to a stop. Essentially what I'm doing is taking the forward momentum and turning it into a round momentum to run out of speed. So I'm going to spin round and slow down. The plow. We couldn't do a stopping without toe stops video and not include the plow. So the plow is done the same as a bubble. So on the bubbles you're pushing on the inside edges but when you do a plow, all you do is you get to here and then you press on the outside and you come to a stop. A good alternative with the plow stop is to just use one foot with the exact same technique. The T-stop. Another classic. So for this one, you need to have quite a good balance on one or the other leg because you need to put all your weight on one leg to turn the other foot at a 90 degree angle and apply pressure. So select whichever foot you're most comfortable on, all the weight on there, and then turn this foot out and slowly apply pressure and increase the pressure as you slow down. The traditional T position is obviously here, but if you haven't got the hip turnout, you can absolutely do it at a 45 degree angle, no problem. 
So you need to apply the foot at the back, all four wheels flat if you can. If you're having trouble, you can go towards the two back wheels, but stay away from the two front inner wheels because what's gonna happen is this. And if you do that, you can get flats on your wheels and you really don't want those. Because when you skate around the rink, you're gonna go dig, 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 which is really horrible. Dig, 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 dig. Once you have the T-stop down, you can use it in a multitude of different ways. And this is my go-to stop when I haven't got my toe stops on. So I'm wearing super flashy skates that don't have anywhere for the toe stop to go. But for most people, what you'll need to do is take your toe stop out. Now bear in mind that when you take your toe stop out, most rinks will want you to put in one of these. This is a jam plug and it stops the metal of your plate scratching their floor. I'm Katie, you've been watching Skatey and I'll see you next time. Where did my toe stop go?